Let them speak. Review patterns 1 to 32. Please repeat or answer. Do you like the way she did her makeup? Does it make her look happy? Who all helped her to do it? Is it something you would do? How long did it take to do her makeup that way she did it here? It must have taken her at least an hour to do that. Does she feel happy with the way it looks? Have you ever seen someone who did something like this? Did someone she knows help her to choose the colors she ended up using? Do you like the way she highlighted her eyes? Before going to sleep tonight, will she be washing her makeup off? If she went out in public, would people notice what she did? Don't you wish you were able to look the way she looks? Is the guy standing behind her the one that helped her put on that makeup? Who else helped her to do it? Do you know where it is that she plans on going out to tonight? If she asked you to go out with her, would you go? Will she be doing her hair after she finishes doing her makeup?
Is that something she needs to go somewhere else to do? Has she also got to do her nails? Did she tell you what color she's going to choose to put on her nails? Will she have a lot of colors to choose from when she does it? What else will she need to do before going out so that she looks awesome? Did you ask her if she has had time to pick out any special dress to wear? Is his friend he goes to school with trying to push his wheelchair? Don't they seem to be busy having fun playing around? Did the boy sitting in the wheelchair tell him to push faster? Does the boy using the wheelchair need to use it so that he can get around easily? Doesn't it look like they just bought it? How can you tell they just got it new? Is it something that he will have to use until he gets bigger? Did he tell you that he hopes to be able to walk soon without the wheelchair? Is he getting therapy so that he can get better sooner? How long did he tell you that it would take to be able to walk again? Where all is he going to be going now with the other two kids he's with?
How long has it been since he was in an accident that hurt his legs? Did he say that where he had the accident was a place that was really dangerous? Was he with anyone else when he happened to get hurt? Don't you feel like having a cold beer? Doesn't the beer you drink taste a lot better if you first make it cold? How can you tell that they just must have poured this beer into the cup? How long has it been since you last drank a Heineken? Do you see people drinking Heineken a lot when you go out to have a good time with your friends at the bar? Is it something that you drink a lot when you get to go out with your friends? What is it that you like to eat while drinking a beer? Do you tend to drink more beer in the summer than you do in the winter? Do you end up drinking beer with your friends whenever you have the chance to watch sports together on TV? How many beers do you usually wind up drinking once you begin drinking? Would you rather drink beer from a plastic glass or from the bottle? Doesn't it taste better if you drink it out of the bottle?
Is the beer you drink the same as your father likes drinking? Don't you wish you could work in a place that makes beer? If you could work in any beer factory, which one would you choose to work in? If you went to work there, would they let you bring home some of the beer you make free? What all did you get to buy besides beer the last time you went to a liquor store? Would they let you buy beer where you live if you happened to be under 21? There is no point trying to buy it if you're under 21 where I live. You must have tried to drink beer before you became 21. Would you let your kids drink beer if they were under 21? Isn't it all right to let them begin to drink a little? Is she there racing other kids that like to race down the mountains? Is this all she does on the weekends with her friends? Is this something that you could do? Do you see anyone she's racing with behind her? Don't you love the outfit she's wearing? Is it something you would wear? What is it that she's wearing that helps to protect her?
Do the things she's wearing help to protect her just in case she falls down? What else should she get to protect herself? Would they let her race if she decided not to wear those? Which one of the things she's wearing would be the most expensive to buy? Are the gloves she's wearing something you have? Are there a lot of things she has to pay attention to while she's racing? By the time she finishes racing today, will her clothes be a lot dirtier? Would you let your daughter race bikes like the one you see here when she gets older? Can you tell if she's using the brakes now? How come she doesn't have a mirror on the bike she's riding? Is 58 the number she uses whenever she goes out to race? It must be a lucky number she has had for a long time. Is what she's riding on something you can get in any bike store? Are you interested in asking her how long she's been racing like this? How long has it been since you last went out riding a bike? If you raced her, would you be able to beat her? Are they there to pray?
What is it that the guy standing next to the boy is pointing at? Is it something that he needs to learn? His parents must feel that it is important to learn. If there is something that the child can't understand, will they be able to explain it to him? Is the thing his father is pointing at something he needs to memorize? Is the older man standing there, there to explain things they may not know? Is the book he brought something that he keeps in his room where he sleeps? Did the child studying there tell you that it is something that he plans on keeping until he dies? Have you got any idea who it is that gave it to him as a gift? It must have been his parents. Is what he's learning something that will help him to live a better life? Do most of the kids he knows end up learning the same way you see here? Can you tell what it is that someone wrote in the sand? Doesn't it look like Arabic? Who is it that you can go to see that will help you translate what you see here? Would you be able to go on the internet to help to find the meaning? Doesn't it look like it would be hard to write?
Have you got any idea how many letters they have in their alphabet? Where else could you go if you wanted to find out? Don't you wish you knew how to speak Arabic? Is it something you're thinking of studying when you go to college? Don't you wish you could have had the opportunity to learn it while you were in grade school? Would you have had difficulty learning it? What is it that you would want to learn to say first? Can you tell me some of the places in the world you know that speak Arabic? Is where they speak Arabic a lot near where you live? Are you able to tell me the most famous person you know that speaks Arabic? What all are they famous for? Do any of the friends you have know how to speak Arabic? If you could speak Arabic, which country is the first one that you would go to visit? Is it some place that you've always thought of going to visit? Would your friends be shocked if they heard you speaking Arabic? Wouldn't it be great if everyone knew how to speak Arabic? Is that something you could do if you had the opportunity to do it?
Does it look like the horse is in the middle of jumping over something? Do you have any idea how long they have practiced in order to be able to do this? It must have taken a really long time so that they could do that together. What is it that she has to do to get it to jump like that? Would that horse be able to jump over you? Haven't you got to have a lot of money to be able to do this? Did she tell you that the horse she's riding is the one she likes riding the most? Is it a horse that she has been riding since she was a little girl? Is the money they paid to get this horse more than what you make in a month? Is what she's wearing what she wears every time she competes? Does she seem to have longer hair than the horse she's riding? Is the hair on the neck of the horse about to touch her face? Don't you want to ask her what else she does besides riding horses like this? Would she let you ride the horse she's on if you asked her to do it? Would she hesitate a lot before answering that question?
Have the two boys sitting on the swing been friends since they were in grade school? Is this the place they go out to play as soon as they get home from school every day? What else do they do where they're at now? Which one of them seems like the one that likes to joke around the most? Is he like you were while you were growing up? How can you tell it must be a little cold where they are now? Would you be able to fit on the swing thereon if you tried sitting there with one of these boys? Isn't it safer to play on the swing with just one person doing it? Did you ask them which one of them is the one that will be pushing the other one on the swing? Would they be able to go higher if you pushed the ones that are on the swing? Did someone put a hose over the chain so that no one hurts their hands while they're on the swing? Isn't it something that makes it easier to hold on to the swing? What is it that boys who are this age tend to talk about the most? Is that something you talk about a lot these days? How many women do you see swimming there?
What is the reason why they have the number you see written on their caps? Why is it that they wrote the number on their left arms too? Is it the same number they have on their cap? Do the caps that they're wearing help them to keep their hair out of their eyes? Is the woman who is at the bottom of the photo about to get water in her mouth? Isn't it hard to take a breath while swimming? How often does she have to come up to breathe? If she got water in her mouth, would she continue to keep swimming? Wouldn't she have to stop if she got too much water in her mouth? Who seems to be the fastest? Are you able to see the other women competing in the race behind them? Do they wind up swimming faster if they are next to other people swimming like that? Wouldn't it be better if they were farther apart? Do they try to scream at the other swimmers who are beside them while swimming? Don't they tell them to get out of the way so that they can go faster? If someone happened to kick them, would they get angry? Would the woman who is at the bottom of the photo be able to see the other people swimming next to her if she looked the other way?
Is the person you'd like to win in the front? Did you tell her that you would take her out to dinner if she wound up winning? Don't you look forward to seeing who wins at the end? Does the man arguing with the soldiers own the land he's standing on? Did he tell them to get off his land? Shouldn't the soldiers who came be on the other side of the fence? What did they put the fence up for? Do the soldiers have something they came to get from him? Which one of the soldiers you see is paying attention to what the guy who owns the land is saying? Have they decided to stop bothering him? Are they supposed to be disturbing him on his land? Is what they're doing aggravating the guy wearing the jeans? What are they carrying guns for? Doesn't it seem like they're overdoing it? Doesn't it make the situation worse? Has anyone you've met ever carried a gun while talking to you? Isn't there a better way to solve problems that come up? Doesn't it look like they're set to start the race? How many people do you see using skateboards? Do you see the one that isn't ready to race?
Is this something you would do? They all must be really fast on the skateboard. If you had a skateboard, would you try competing against them? Do the sneakers they're wearing help them to control the skateboard? Are they the same sneakers they wear when they go to school? Do they use both feet so that they can control the skateboard better? How come none of them are wearing pads to protect their knees in case they fall? Do you know anyone older than you that skateboards? Do skateboarders who skate well ever end up falling down sometimes while skateboarding? Which one of the people you see there isn't going to be racing? Did he tell you that there was no room to stand, so he decided to wait for the next race? Don't they tend to push each other a lot once they begin racing? Are you thinking of asking one of the people racing there to use their skateboard in the next race they have? How often have they got to change the wheels on the skateboards they ride around on? Wouldn't they be easy to change? She must be over 80 years old. How long did they say it took them to light all of the candles? Will she be able to blow out all of the candles with one breath?
Will she need help so that she can blow them all out at one time? Is the guy standing next to her trying to blow out some of the candles? Is he the one that she asked to help her blow out the candles? Is that birthday cake as big as the cake you usually get on your birthday? Are you able to see the smoke coming from the candles? How many candles would you have to put on your birthday cake? How long will the candles be able to burn before they get to the cake? What is it that you wish when you blow out your candles on a birthday cake? Do the things that you wish for always come true? Is it okay to tell someone what you wish? Would you be embarrassed to tell someone else what you wish for the most these days? What I wish is that you could learn to speak English well.